Hi everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation playthrough. Today we are starting the Cairo section and we're going to start off with City of the Dead and Chambers of Tullin. Well, it'll at least be our first visits to City of the Dead and Chambers of Tullin. Thank you all so much for being patient with me the last couple of weeks. There's been a lot to do with unpacking and getting the apartment in order, so I just didn't have time to film, so I do apologize about that. But something very exciting happened. I passed nine hundred subscribers. I, I can't believe it. I really can't. I'm so happy and so grateful to all of you. So that means that I'm preparing for my 1000 subscriber Q&A. So I am accepting questions for that. So if you do have any question you want to ask me about either gaming, YouTube or myself personally, do just comment it below this video or you can message me on Instagram or anything like that just let me know that it is a question for the q and I've gotten a lot of really interesting questions so far. A lot of questions about Tomb Raider as well, which is really exciting. You can also submit more than one question. That's no problem at all. I had a few people ask me if that was okay. Absolutely. If you have three or four questions, send them all in. So I'm looking forward to seeing any more questions that you guys have. So let's just get into it. Okay, so just a really quick recap of the story. So we collected all of the Armor of Horus pieces from Alexandria. And then when we returned to John Eve's study, we realized that Von Croy had kidnapped him and is holding him hostage and says we can get him back if we exchange the Armor of Horus for Jean Yves. Von Croy has now also become possessed by Set, which is great. Set's energy has now kind of infested and taken over the city of Cairo. So now Cairo is under siege. It's kind of just like under plague as well, if that makes sense. Like the sky is all green and, you know, there's locusts everywhere and there's other just terrible, weird, horrible stuff happening. So it's kind of like it's heralding Armageddon or something like that. So we need to make our way through a Cairo under siege to find out where Von Croy is at so we can get Jean Eves back because we love him. So I don't know why, but all of my controls um reset themselves for some reason over the last couple of weeks. So I had to reset everything. So I've reconfigured my controls but also reset like the music and sound effects volumes and everything so I hope they're okay but if not just let me know okay so what kind of ammo poison normal explosive yeah okay I'm going to or actually hang on no I don't have the revolver yet so yeah I'm gonna use explosive ammo okay so let's kill this guy Ugh. Can you? Oh, the stupid. Hang on. Sorry. The, the stupid aim has reset itself as well. For God's sake. There we go. Okay. So, should that be a little bit louder, maybe? Yeah, it's nicer when the music's a bit louder, isn't it? It creates a nice atmosphere, I think. Anyway, let me know if it's too loud and I'll change it. Oh, this is not a great start at all, is it? There we go. Ooh. There we go. Okay, that took care of him. And, oh, is this the revolver now? Oh, okay, so now I can because it's handy to use this to take people out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the laser sight and then I'm going to combine it with the revolver. And there we go. That's handy now. Right. Oh, so there's some machine guns here that we, oh God, that we have to take out. I can't remember any of the controls. It feels like so long since I played. There we go. Ugh! OK, 
Okay. Gonna get this guy. There we go. Okay, we're doing well. Kind of. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. So I did just want to pause here really briefly and just talk a bit about this. So yeah, this level is called City of the Dead. And I was like, why is it called City of the Dead? So as I said, we are in Cairo, which is the capital city of Egypt. And the City of the Dead or Cairo Necropolis is a series of vast Islamic era cemeteries in Cairo. Here, the living and the dead coexist. People here live between the catacombs and the mausoleums with beds and ovens added to tombs without electricity or running water. This is an unauthorized occupation but it is tolerated by the city due to an ongoing housing crisis in Egypt. So yeah, I thought that was really interesting. So basically the city of the dead is an area in Egypt where there's a ton of cemeteries, tombs, mausoleums. And basically the people who live here are people who would have otherwise been homeless due to the housing crisis and extreme poverty. They've moved into the tombs, made them home. As I said, unfortunately there's no electricity, no running water. So these people are still living in extreme poverty, but they've occupied these spaces and made them their home and made little communities. I thought that was really, really interesting. Never ever knew about City of the Dead before. And you may be asking as well, who the hell are these guys who are shooting at us? So these guys are the Egyptian military and the Egyptian military has been called into Cairo to battle Seth's forces. So when all of this madness descended on the city, the Egyptian army was called in to take care of this and get this under control. But unfortunately, they don't seem to know that Lara is on the same side as them. So they just view Lara as another force, I guess, attacking their city. So they will try and take out Lara. So the military is not impressed with this situation and they are trying to get this city under control. And I did just want to also briefly, oh, are you, you're just not reacting? If I just, oh, oh, I feel really bad. He's just like doing his job, but. Why won't you die? Now I'm mad. Hello? Hello? Oh, that is just so annoying. Okay, whatever. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know what is happening. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, calm down. Right, so I, oh. Will you die? Where did your mouth go? Where's your mouth going? Stop it. Oh my God. <laughs> I think he's been possessed too. <laughs> there, I got him. <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> okay, calm down, Suzanne. Right, so yes, I did just want to thank Boulder um, on YouTube for leaving a comment and letting me know to activate the, what are they called? Hang on, volumetric effects for this level because it gives this really cool um, creepy mist effect that would have been missing otherwise and just makes the level extra cool. So thank you so much Boulder for letting me know to do that uh, because yeah, it just makes the level 10 times more cool. Okay. Okay, I can't remember the controls for this motorbike. That's the, oops. That's the downside about leaving it so long um, between playing. Sorry. Ooh. Hang on, how do I? Oh, okay, there we go. Right, I think there's another, ooh, ooh. Sorry. 
I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, there's a, a, a pick up there. Hang on. Right. So, I have a few things to do here. I'm not sure exactly what to do first, but I'll just pick this up. Um, so I think I'm going to go and get the guns over with first because this is always terrible. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't know they could shoot me from there. I can already tell this playthrough is going to be an absolute disaster. An absolute disaster. Oh well, right. Here we go. Ooh. Flipping heck. Right, so obviously those machine gun thingies as well have been set up around the city by the Egyptian <sighs> army as well. So, <sighs> right. Ah, oh, you, no, no. Why did you get stuck? Lara. Oh, this is horrifying. I don't know what's more horrifying, the gun or this. But yeah, there's a, a dead soldier in here with a big blood trail. Ooh, Gicky, for some reason. um, I don't know what's killed him. I mean, if I was Lara, I would be more concerned about what did this and where it is now. But anyway, so yeah. We had to move him off the grate so we can open the grate in a little bit. And hang on, there's something in here, is there no? And there's a ladder for some reason. You see, I feel like Tomb Raider 4 as well, they put random stuff like this around and it makes you feel like, do I use this? Don't I? It's just confusing. Okay, let's just, let's just go. Oh crap, I forgot to. To Medi pack up. Okay. Go. Go, 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 go. Woo. Okay. Um, and then we go in here, I'm pretty sure. And I know that Cairo is probably, it's probably the most hated section, I think, of, oh, a rat. Where'd you go? It ran away. Oh, I don't know where that rat went. Oh, well, just ran through a wall. Um, yeah, it's probably the most hated section, I think, of Last Revelation, but I, actually kind of like it <laughs> strangely enough i just i really like the creepy atmosphere i like creepy i like creepy things so um yeah i think it's a really cool interesting different section i do think it's unnecessarily difficult i totally agree with that um but when you kind of know what you're doing and where you need to go, I think it's... Oh, what is that? I think it's okay. So, hang on. Okay. And... Right, I think I just go back the way I came then. Um, and then we'll go back through the crawl space to avoid those guns. But seriously, where'd that rat go? I can't kill that. That's sad. Okay, so I think that that opened a 
door up here then. Ooh. This whole level is going to be me trying to drive this stupid motorbike. Why has it got a sidecar? That's my question. Why was it- oh. Why was it necessary to have a sidecar? Oh. Can I- oh, oh no. It's not- oh jeez. It's not necessary. It's fine. Okay. Um. Hang on now. Okay, so I think, let me just pick up, I saw a medipack. Yeah, right here, I'm standing on it. Mm. I think I'll smash back out here. <laughs> In the slowest motion ever. Okay, because I do need my motorbike back out here. For later. Okay. Now, let's see what's down here. What is it? Hmm, okay. Where was that door, though, that we opened? Where was that? I'm so confused. so cool when you know what City of the Dead is. Um, because then you kind of know that it's just a city made up of mausoleums and cemeteries and stuff. It just, it makes it extra cool and extra creepy. Okay, I actually can't see a thing. I presume these are like, yeah, little mausoleums or something. Um, this looks like the only way to go. Um, laser sight again. We already have it, so it's useless. Useless. Uh, we don't go up there yet. Let's see. That's a door we have to get out. But then what did we open? We must have already gone through what we opened. I'm so confused. <laughs> ah, okay. So I remember mainly what I have to do in these levels, but some of the details I'm kind of like, uh, not sure. <laughs> not sure. Okay, so. We're going to try and shoot the swinging vase behind and not shoot the jar in front because that just releases a swarm of locusts, which we don't want. That would just be really annoying. Okay. So, careful. <laughs> Yay! <gasps> Okay, no time to celebrate. Ah, gotta get away from it, gotta get away. Gotta get away. Uh, where is the stairs? There it is, okay. Um, is it following me? Hello? That was so weird, okay. <laughs> so what was supposed to happen there was the... Um, ice wraiths or spirits were supposed to follow you down. Oh, jeez. We're supposed to follow you down into that water and then make it solid. 
but I feel like it kind of bugged out because the ice rates disappeared before I got here and then the water kind of looked like it was solid ice before I got to it but it still made me fall through. I don't know. A bit weird but we'll go with it. Uh, so yeah the ice rates went in here or were supposed to go in here and then they froze the water and made it solid so we can jump across here. Um, okay, yeah, and then we go in here. Oh, that's the way out. So, get a pick up and there's nothing else here. And then we get what I think is the most easiest secret in the game. It's really obvious. <gasps> Not complaining about an easy secret for once. <laughs> it's so dark, I can't see a thing. So now we're back at the area where we started the level and we just need to get a lever. My brain is just not working very fast today. <sighs> right. Okay. Okay. So we've- Oh, Jesus! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. <sighs> that, I don't know why, but that scared the living daylights out of me. Uh, oh, like if you look up here, you can see that that is a little mini graveyard. That's so cool. Okay. Um, so get back on this motorbike. Oh, you Jesus. Right. Stop it now. Right, I'm actually going to save it before I drive this motorbike because who knows what kind of shenanigans are going to happen. Oh. No. Shit. Just stop it, Lara. Okay. There's a little pickup under here. Hardly seems worth the time to crawl to get it, honestly, but we'll just get it anyway. Oh, okay. I thought I almost drove off the edge there. 
Ähm. So yeah, we need to drop a block here, I'm pretty sure. So we just continue up for the moment. <laughs> Stop! Oh no, the block raises out of the ground, does it? Oh, for God's sake. Ugh! not going well. Um, do I... Uh, do I go over here? I think I do. This is taking forever. Oh, it's it's a it's a rat. Where to go now? <gasps> oh! here no so then I think that raised the block uh. right what is oh what is over here I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at this. No! Okay, so very carefully. Ugh. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I'm just up here again. No, I don't want to. I want to go back then. Hang on. No. Do not drive over that edge. Oh yeah, okay, so this is it now. The block has gone up, which allows us to get up here. Which way do we go? Oh, there, okay. just ran off the edge because why not okay so these are the oh that's the door we opened oh that is cruel imagine getting all the way up here and then realizing the door is closed that is cruel okay so oh no that's the wrong that's the wrong gun yeah so now we can actually shoot these machine guns um, to stop them shooting us. So that was one of the ones that was shooting us when we were pulling that guy's dead body off the grate. <gasps> oh crap it! Crap! Off oh, flip! How? Okay, let me let me crawl back here. Don't shoot me. Did not remember that. Can it shoot me from here? 
No. Why do I keep taking it? The wrong gun. That is also the wrong gun. Okay, I think you hit this explosive barrel. Can't get it. Step, side step. Did that work? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it did. I was kind of standing there, like, uh, that was supposed to work. Why is nothing happening? But it's all good. Uh, okay, so there's no pickups. And I survived. Okay. So, oh yeah. We can go down onto this one. It's down here. Nothing. Okay. And that leads us into the chamber of chambers of Tulin. I think it's Tulin. I'm not sure. So yeah, now we just need to head back to our motorbike and go through that gate. Oh my god, truly almost ran off there. Oh, for flip's sake. It wouldn't be a running and jump, would it? Oh, it is. Okay. Would not have expected that. Let's go. Um, okay, I do believe ooh, we can quickly get out of here. <gasps> okay, let's try again to literally just drive up the stairs like how hard can that really be okay so yeah i think if we go this way yeah it just pops us back out here so here we go um i think actually now that that machine gun is gone we can go down here and get some stuff can't we <laughs> yeah, and then we drive here later. Um, okay. He didn't drop anything. Uh, there should be some stuff in here. We already have grenade launchers, so just grenade ammo, really. 
Sorry if you can hear my stomach rumbling. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of hungry, so. I hope the microphone isn't picking it up. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and sorry. So in that level, we had one secret, so at the end we should have 55 out of 70, which we do. Great. And then we're just going to play a very small part of <gasps> Chambers of Tullin. Uh, you... oh, oh, Jesus! Someone's shooting me. <laughs> Who's shooting me? Seriously, who the heck is shooting me? Oh, he's up there. Oh, come on. Stop messing around now. There we go. <laughs> My god, they gave me such a fright. I was so scared. I did not remember that there was Egyptian soldiers here. Right, okay. So, yeah, having the bicycle under that chute later will make a difference. Right. So, let's enter the chamber of Tullin. I think it's pronounced Tullin. And yeah, this is a real place. So let's get a look at this. So, really, really impressive and I of course did some research so the mosque of Ilbin Tullin I will put that on the screen in case I butchered it horribly is located in Cairo it is one of the oldest mosques in Egypt Ahmad Ibn Tullin was the founder of the Tullinid dynasty that ruled Egypt and Syria between 868 and 905 and it was built as like an open air type mosque to allow you know all this beautiful natural light to get in while people are worshipping and everything so yeah this is actually a real a real place a real mosque in Cairo which I think is pretty cool okay so um I can't really remember what to do first I think what I'm gonna do Um, let's just have a look around first for pickles. Oh! Oh, it's just another set of grenades. Okay. Um. Medipack. Um, right, and then that's how we jump up. It's important to know how to do that quickly for the next bit. Okay, so there are two secrets in this level. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I'll just use the grenade launcher. Um, so for later, it's handy to bring the beetle out. I thought the beetle was supposed to... <gasps> Hello? Beetle? What the hell? Oh, there. 
There we go. Okay, that takes care of that. And there's a secret here somewhere as well. Where is that? Maybe it was out here actually. Oh, hang on, it might be up here. Is this it? Oh, I think this is it. Just could not remember where that secret was. And it's quite a good secret too. It's got quite a bit of goodies. Right, okay. So now I think we're ready to move on. Or no, I'm actually gonna go and get the other secret and just do a couple of things above first because I am so bad at this timed sequence <laughs> that I actually need all of the time I can get. So I'm just going to <laughs> save myself heartache later and just do this now. Okay, wouldn't let me go around for some reason. There's nothing here, no. Nope. Okay, so that's where we pull the switch in a minute. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is exactly why I need to do this in advance. Oh, stop. That wasn't too bad. Uh -oh. Ah, get away. Okay, I think that's everything. And then I want to get over there. Can I reach over there from here? No. Okay. Can I... No. I suppose it's just as well that I practice this now um, for later anyway. Because <sighs> we're going to have to do this timed. So. There it 
There we go. Ah! Why wouldn't he blow up? Okay, so this just saves me some time when I jump over here later. Um, that I don't have to do that. Okay, let's let's go and do this then. I'm I'm not impressed. So let's just do our stats first. So in that level, we should have got two secrets, um, which will give us fifty-seven out of seventy, which we have. So great. Okay. I'm so not thrilled. I'm so not thrilled. Right, let me save it actually before I do this. Where is he? Hello! Oh, Jesus! Oh my God. Oh, he scares me so much. It's the sound effects for him as well. <laughs> oh my god, I am saving that. I'm not doing that again. Oh my god. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Right, let me, um, <laughs> let me jump up here and see if we can get a better view of him. There we go. Okay, so this guy is, <laughs> I can't believe I got so scared. This guy is called a Minotaur. So, <laughs> oh my God. So a Minotaur, which is a guardian in Greek mythology, is a fabulous monster of Crete that had the body of a man and the head of a bull. It was the offspring of Pasiphae, I'll put it on screen, the wife of Minos and a snow white bull sent to Minos by the god Poseidon for sacrifice. What the what? So yeah, basically there was this guy called Minos and he had a wife called Pasiphae and Poseidon was obviously friends with Minos and sent him a white bull as a gift to be sacrificed. But Minos' wife, Pasiphae, obviously liked the bull for some reason. And, um, you know, stuff, stuff happened and, and they created this minotaur. <sighs> Mythology is so messed up. <laughs> so messed up. So yeah, that's, that's what this is. Uh, the Minotaur was not born evil, and though he lived on human flesh, his mother raised him with tender care. It was only when the Minotaur grew older that he became a threat to Greek society. Oh yeah, and I just made a note as well that Minos, his daddy but not daddy because the bull's his daddy, uh, was the king of Crete and the son of Zeus. So I guess that's why Poseidon knew him and liked him because... Minos was the son of Zeus and Poseidon was like, ooh, yeah, Minos, here's a bull. And his wife was like, ooh, a bull. I re I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm horrified. Um, but yeah, that's what that is. So he's obviously guarding the citadel and um, he will kill and crush us if he can. So what we have to do is pull a switch to close the doors of the mosque and trap him in here so we have time to get around and get into the citadel. It's timed, it's very stressful. Um, <laughs> he terrifies me. <laughs> Let's just do it. Okay, so this is gonna take me, I would say this is gonna take me about 10 tries. I'm gonna guess 10 tries. Okay, let's just, let's just do it. Right. Okay, so now he's trapped. So, 
right. Now we do have quite a decent amount of time. Oh, that actually went okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna save that. Uh, saving time doesn't count to my timey time, does it? What's that on the floor there? Stop looking at stuff, Suzanne, and concentrate. But seriously, what is that on the floor? Is that a beetle? Don't look at it. Don't look at it. No. Oh, it is a beetle. It is a beetle. Get off! Okay, come on. Okay, maybe I'm jumping too late and I need more momentum. No. <laughs> no, that was stupid. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this is a disaster. Oh. Okay, look, let's just let's just keep going. Okay, I don't... I don't know how to get that beetle, but uh, we're just gonna ignore it. Okay. Oh, jeez! Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shake a leg, shake a leg. Come on, Lara. Right. Oh no, I just I just saved it just in case. Okay. So we need one, two, three, four. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, I think I'm okay, but I don't want to celebrate too soon because I think he can actually knock you off this ladder if he comes out before. Yay! Did it! I'm saving it. Okay, so that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. There he is. There comes the... Oh, and there comes the scarab as well. Hang on. There. Oh, he's coming right for me. <laughs> well, I ended up getting that as well. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, I need to grow up and stop taunting the minotaur. Okay, so let's just enter the next level. <laughs> okay, so I feel like that uh, playthrough was kind of a disaster, but you know what? We got through it. That's the main thing. It's done. <sighs> that minotaur just scares the crap out of me. And I think we have to do that one more time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do consider liking, subscribing, or leaving a comment. All of it really helps my channel. Thank you so, so much again for over 900 subscribers. I feel like I'm so close now to reaching my goal of 1,000 subscribers um, by Christmas. So that's really, really exciting. Don't forget to leave me any questions below that you have that you would like me to answer in my Q&A. And I will see you very, very soon in the next video.